right, here we go. Back at it with another homework helper video. Hopefully this is beneficial to you. If it is, just hit me with a quick comment or a hit that like button and let me know that it is helpful to you. This is module two, lesson two, and we'll be estimating multi-digit products by rounding factors to a basic fact. Remember, basic facts, we want to get a one digit times one digit number, and we're going to be using our place value patterns, okay? So, I'm going to dial back to module one a little bit as well. So, let's take a look here. Number one says, round the factors to estimate the products. So, we're always going to want to round to whatever our highest place value digit is in each factor. So, for A, our first factor is a six in the hundreds place. And then we have a 8 in the tens place in our second factor. So we're going to round to the nearest hundreds, and then we're going to round to the nearest 10 for these two factors. Let's take a look here. We should know by now that when we're rounding, we always want to look at that place value unit to the right of whatever we're rounding to. So in this case, we're rounding to the nearest hundred for our first factor. So we're going to look back at our tens. Our tens place, we have the digit 9. So because we have a 9, we know this 6 is going to round up to 700. And you can see that 697 is very close to 700. So we're going to round up to 700. And then for our 82, the 2 is in the 1's place. The 2 is in the 1's place, so we're going to keep it at 80. Remember the saying, 5 or above, we give it a shove. 4 or below, we let it go. That's for our control number when we're talking about rounds. All right, so we're going to keep that at an 80. Now I can look at my two numbers here. I have seven hundreds and eight tens. So I know seven times eight is going to give me 56. 56 what? I say 56 times 10 times 10 times 10. So remember on our place value chart, if I have my 56 and I multiply it by 10, by 10, and by 10, it will look like this now. It will be 56, but it will have three zeros after it. So it will be 56,000. All right. So a reasonable estimate for 697 times 82 is 56,000. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at this next one. B, we have 5,897. So you might think, well, why wouldn't we round it to 59 hundreds or 5,900? We could, but it's a lot harder. We round this to 70, and I'll talk about that in a second. It's a lot harder to say 59 times 70 or times 7 than it would be to say 6 times 7. So watch. Since I have my thousands place and my tens place, I'm going to round to each of those. My first factor is going to round to the nearest thousand. I look at my control number which is in the hundreds place here it's kind of hard i'm writing on my small computer so i'm having trouble circling my control number so we have an eight in our control number eight is falls in the five or above so i'm going to give that a shove i'm going to round that to six thousand my first factor rounds to six thousand now for my second factor i have six in the tens place and i'm rounding to the nearest tens so i say my control number is a seven so i'm going to round that up Five or above here to shove is going to round up to seven. So now I have seven tens and six thousands. So I'll say six times seven is 42. And if you don't know your basic facts, use those multiplication charts or you can uh, use those flashcards that you made, hopefully, and you'll be able to see 42. Well, if we have 42 on a place value chart, put my 42 in. And if I said 42 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, that's four tens. That'll be times one, two, three, four sets of tens, or four factors of tens, rather, times 10 times 100 times 1,000 times 10,000 will give us 42 10,000. So you can see that my 42 is in the 10,000th place. All right, my two from my 42 will be in my 10,000th place. So I need to have 42 10,000 is equal to 400. 20,000. Alright, and we can say that it is reasonable that 42 10,000 would be our answer, or 420,000. Looking at C here, we have 
8,840 times 45. We're going to say we're rounding our first factor to the thousandth place and our second factor to the tens place. I know that 8 is in my control number, right next to my thousands and hundred place in my first factor. And 5 is my control number to the right of my place that I'm rounding to, which is my tens place. So I'm going to say this first factor is going to round to 9,000. And the second factor is going to round to 50. So now I say, well, 9 times 5. So I'm going to multiply and say 45. And then I have to take that 45, put it on my place value chart, and multiply it by 10, 10, 10, and 10, or 10, 100, and 1,000, 10,000. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That was times 10, times 100, times 1,000, times 10,000. And my answer would be 45, 10,000. That 5 is going to be in the 10,000th place. So 45 in the 10,000th place, that means I have a 0 in my 1,000th place, 0 in my 100, 0 in my 10th, 450,000. And that would be a reasonable estimation for 8,840 times 45. All right. Let's go ahead and continue with two. It says complete the table using your understanding of the place value and your knowledge of rounding to estimate the product. So we're going to just do the same thing we did with one for number two here. So I know I'm going to round this first factor to 80,000. My second factor, I'm going to round to 200. Well, eight times two is 16. And I have times one, two, three, four, five, six. Six tens, so times ten times ten times ten times ten times ten times ten. I'm just going to give us one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to be sixteen million. For C, let's change the color here so we can kind of differentiate. I have nine thousand eight hundred thirty-two times three tens and nine ones. So both of my numbers are going to round up. Five or five, they're going to both go up. So I'm going to have 10,000 times 40. I know it's going to be equal to 1 times 4, which is 4, times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so we have 10, excuse me, 4 times 10 times 100 times 1,000 times 10,000 times 100,000. So 4 times 100,000 is 400,000. You see my 4, and then you see it's in the 100,000th place. All right, let's go back to blue here. And we have D. Now they gave us, uh, they tried to change it up on us a little bit. So they gave us unit form. So it says... 98 tens, so my 8 has to be linked to my tens place. So 98 tens is equal to 98 tens with my 8 in my tens place, so 980. And it says times 36 tens. So my 6 has to be in my tens place, which is 360. So I'm going to round each one and say, uh, round into my nearest place value is going to be 9. Control number is 8, so that's going to bump me up to 1,000. Same thing here, 3, my control number is a 6. It's going to bump up, 6 is a 5, oh, five and above, so it's going to bump up to 400. So now I say 1,400. 1,000 times 400 is going to give me 4. Then I say times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10. Times 10. The same thing, we have 400,000 here. I had to make sure I didn't make a mistake here. I have my four zeros in my first factor that's red, and one there to get my five. And I have three zeros here and two in here for the blue second factor to get my five zeros. All right, so once again, we would have 400,000. All right, let's go ahead and look at this last one here, which is E. We have 893 hundreds. My three has to be in a hundreds place times 85 tens. My five's going to be in my tens place. So now I'm going to round up all the way up to my, in this case, 
my ten thousands. So I see that I have an eight in my ten thousands. My nine is my control number. So this is going to round up. It's ninety thousand, and you should see that eighty nine thousand is not too far away from eighty nine thousand three hundred is only seven hundred away from ninety thousand. And then for my second factor, my control numbers are five. I'm rounding to the nearest hundred. It's going to bump up to 900. So I know that 9 times 9 gives me 81. So now I have 81 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. There's six zeros. Which is going to give us 81 million. All right. Boys and girls, hope you are doing this work and trying this work on your own. And then looking back to check to make sure that your answers are correct. And I uh, just wanted to let you know that everybody's still learning, self-included. So keep pushing and keep working. Never give up. Always keep trying. Happy learning.